Okay, um, final question. Mm -hmm. And this is just, I've asked you a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. And I may have not covered something mm -hmm. that you're sitting there saying, when is Martin ever going to ask me this question? And so this is your opportunity to um, say whatever you want, uh, whatever issue or matter. Uh, so please do. Uh, well, I would only like to say that um, obviously I am running for re-election and retention. Uh, yeah, boy, you have to keep correcting me on that. <laughs> well, I that's I, that's I, not a Freudian slip. I'm, that's just yeah, that's yeah, a hard yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but um, certainly, I wouldn't have decided to seek election had I not, through that two-year period, realized. There's going to be highs and lows, but the highs outweigh the lows. Um, and I, I still want to be a part of that process. Um, Plain Township is my home. Uh, it's always been my home. I think I have leadership skills to offer. Uh, I think I've been in decision-making situations where I understand, uh, you know, what's best for the masses. It's not always comfortable sometimes disagreeing. But if you're doing it because you believe it's best for the for the for the greater whole, then you just have to do that. Um, and I I think I have those skills. Uh, I think I have proven leadership, um, and uh, I, I I think I have something to bring to the continued growth of Plain Township. Because let's face it, you don't hear a lot of negative things about Plain Township. If we if we were running a bad operation. We would have heard that a long time ago. So to say, you know, we're not doing this right or we're not doing that right, uh, we're only hearing that from a candidate. We're not hearing that from the general public. I would rather listen to the general public's complaints or how they perceive of the job that we're doing than how another candidate believes it. Okay, well, thank you, John Sabo, for um, agreeing to uh, be interviewed by the Stark County Political Report. Thank you.